Joining me this afternoon is Carrie Engel from Valley View Farms. Thank you for coming oh, in. Always a pleasure. Thank you. This is so cute. It is. And these are simple plants to grow. These are very succulents, jade plants, echeveras, and some other ones. And they're planted in stone and, um, and potting mix and then some stone on top for decoration. So there's no drainage in here. Oh. But they don't really need it because they're very shallow rooted. Um, but easy to care for, bright light, water when they're dry to the touch. And you can make these yourself. You I mean, like, you yeah, probably we've got a class need a little on, help. Yeah, we've had a <laughs> class on Saturday if you haven't done it before. But I'm like, I have some glass bowls around, maybe an old terrarium or something, yeah. an old aquarium, and you can use that, and it's just great fun to put together. That's such a great idea. Yeah. So the classes are this weekend? They are this weekend, 9 o'clock on Saturday. All right, what a great idea. Are you ready for uh, questions? Because sure. people always have questions. <laughs> you come in the studio, it's like a doctor just walked in. <laughs> Carrie, help with my grass. So here we go. Someone wants to know about putting down crabgrass preventer? Um, I'd wait another, I don't know, a month or so for most of it. You could probably do it in the middle of March in a lot of parts of Baltimore. And you might have to put a second application on in, in May or June because that's when a lot of it does germinate is a little later. So you can get some of the early stuff and then get that late stuff too. Uh, crabgrass, it's, it's ugly if you yes. have an otherwise perfect lawn. If you don't, it's no big deal. Right. <laughs> right. I know. We all want to get rid of it, but it's, exactly. it's not going anywhere usually. Yep. <laughs> all right. So now it's too early, but uh, another person wanted to know about starting to plant a vegetable garden. Can any plants and seeds be planted in early March? Some things can be planted. Our biggest thing this year is going to be wait for the ground to dry out. And once it does, some things can go, go in early. Um, by St. Patrick's Day, things like peas, potatoes, onions can all go in. And not much after that, you can start putting your coal crops, broccoli, kale, cabbage, all that sort of stuff in. But we still have a little wait and this ground dry out might take a little bit. I know, and yeah. Tony keeps saying what he's saying. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Well, thank you for coming in. I was thank just you. told we were out of time, but remember, right. if you have any questions for Carrie, she comes in here, and you can also find her at Valley View Farms. <laughs>